I'm Amanda Pashuko, the sex healer. Are you a bottom that can't seem to find a top? Well, I'm gonna tell you what they're not telling you. Stay until the end to get more of our techniques as a thank you for watching and our webinar that gives you more in-depth skills on this. The idea of topping from the bottom. Desiring to be dominated is something that tops like yet get tired of. Bottoms sometimes look at their tops as a way to serve their own needs. Many tops don't really like this quality though because they want it to be mutually beneficial, not just service topping and only attuning to the bottom. And just to be clear, the bottom's needs are incredibly important and we're not saying that their needs aren't gonna get met. We're saying that it's more of a dynamic dance instead of the submissive saying, I require A, B, and C. Does that make sense? It's a dynamic conversation and consent is informed and continues versus topping from the bottom. There is a difference between self-advocacy and a difference between being domineering in the position of power that you're in. So next, a bottom that says they have no hard limits or no experience. That is something that tops might run away from because when you say you have no hard limits, it's clear that you're new in the scene and don't really understand. So you need to have hard limits. Imagine the unimaginable because when you're in kink, the idea is using your mind to create new scenarios that get you closer to fantasies. So you need to have hard limits because things are going to happen that you probably didn't even imagine. So it'd be important to advocate and speak on behalf of the things that you don't even know you don't wanna do. Again, if you stay until the end, you can get our checklist, BDSM, different things to consider. However, it's important to have hard limits from that list, not just say, I'll do any of it. What are some of your hard limits? In case there are beginners watching this, they might not know what to consider. If you could write some of your hard limits, that would be so helpful. Know this, attunement works both ways. Know that a top and bottom dynamic, the top is attuning to the bottom, but the top also wants to receive attunement from the bottom to get feedback, to get yeses, to find out what's working. Rarely you'll find an experienced top that will not communicate what they want out of the scene. However, there are many times where people might say that they are not interested in A, B, C, D, E, and that's totally acceptable, and they want these qualities. This is part of the negotiation. So for example, if a top or a dominant wants someone who's going to be a service bottom, and comes over and helps them with service, and that bottom is thinking that they're going to do a bondage penetration scene, those are two very different expectations that are going to miss. <laughs> Submitting too soon. So there's a rush sometimes when you're a submissive to rush into something as if there's an urgency, as if we're on the Titanic and the ship is going down. Really, things aren't that urgent, so you don't need to submit too soon. You can ask questions, you can attune to one another like we just talked about in point three, because it's something important to have someone earn your submission and someone that you trust to submit to. In the beginning of relationships, two months to four months, there's a lot of dopamine and adrenaline, so you might decide to do something out of hormones, not really out of rational reasons. Um, so submitting too soon is something that bothers some tops. Finally, self-advocacy is sexy. When you're able to say, I would like this, I like to receive this, I like to perform that, I love to wear this, I'd love to watch you wear that, all of that is beautiful. Curiosity is also sexy. And when you are not curious, and when you're not self-advocating, many tops don't wanna be in that situation, so they rather end the play dynamic. So, be able to be curious, 
inquisitive, and have the same back. That will give you the best results for your dynamic. Curiosity shows maybe a lack of experience, but it doesn't show that you aren't discerning. It shows that there is something there that you're looking for. Thank you for staying until the end. Scroll down, get the checklist to be sure, like in point two, that you have hard limits and know how to communicate them. And if you have more questions, you can get our webinar, Kink 1.0 or 2.0. If you like this video, hit like, subscribe, and the bell. We release new videos Wednesdays, 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And if you're interested, you can say hi on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube at The Sex Healer or at Amanda Pashuko. I love your questions, videos, and comments. Have a wonderful week. Thanks for watching.